Auditor General Edward Ooko's tenure at the National Audit Office that was meant to run until 2019 could end prematurely after Parliament formally received a petition asking Ooko be investigated over abuse of office and gross misconduct. A civil society organization, the International Policy Group, in a petition to the Speaker of the National Assembly, is accusing Ooko and some staff at his office of inflating the cost of an audit vault software from an estimated 18 million shillings to 100 million in 2014 and authorizing the procurement without following due process. In a previous quest to charge the Auditor General, the Ethics and Anti Corruption Commission had also said the entire money was paid out to the supplier before the job was done. The Director of Public Prosecutions, Kiria Kotobiko, is yet to act on the matter. Ouko has always maintained that the transaction was above board. While the opposition has accused the government of conspiring to kick out Ouko for daring to question the alleged theft of Eurobond monies. Late last year, during an accountability summit in State House, President Kenyatta had chided Ouko for seeking to make inquiries into the New York Federal Reserve Bank over the alleged Eurobond saga. Are you telling me that the Treasury and the Federal Reserve Bank of the United States have colluded? Yani mujinga ni nani? Surely. Na huyu anasema anaenda nataka kwenda ku interrogate Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Guy, anyway. The matter will now be handled by the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee of the National Assembly, which may or may not recommend to the President that a tribunal be set up to investigate Ooko. If set up, such a tribunal will then recommend his removal or otherwise. Hussein Mohammed, Citizen Live at 9.